in. Breathe <laughs> along. Let's all the stare. One dark night, an evil circle, and a foolish bee race across the Eden desert, chasing a magical glowing scardinalia. When it stopped, the sand rose up into a huge tiger's head, its mouth opening too. <laughs> the cave of wonders, whispered Jafar, the sultan, Sturzins, not bringing me in a lamp. He ordered the Daphim. Suddenly, a voice brewed, only one may enter here. One was born in the end. It's far within. The diamond in the roof, and the jaw slamming it shut. The next day, the Sultan's guards raced through the marketplace, chasing a bread thief. The poor young man named Aladdin lead off a roof and escaped. Aladdin was hungry, but he gave bread to the children. We were eating hungry, so Aladdin and his pet monkey Abu went the hungry and the police. Someday, Abu, the things are going to change, Aladdin said that night, starring at the Sultan's palace. We'll be rich and never have any problems at all. Abu just a hooded with leather. Meanwhile, in the palace, Princess Jasmine was very unhappy. Her father, the Sultan, would choose a snooting prince for her to marry. In three days, it was the law. Jasmine wanted to marry for love. I can stay here and have my life live for me, she told her head right like Tagarasha. Jasmine climbed over to the palace wall and found herself in a depressing marketplace, seeing a hungry child. She took an apple from a fruit stand and gave it to him. Thief! cried the food, fruit seller. Aladdin had been watching. She's my sister, he called, stepping into good help. Come along, sis. And he led her safely away. So where are you from? Aladdin asked on his rooftop. Jasmine sighed. I ran away. My father is focusing on me to get married. That's awful, Aladdin said. Suddenly, palace guards thundered into the grass. The poor red thief. I'll get him, Jasmine cried, throwing back her hood. By order of the princess. Princess? gasped Aladdin. My orders come from the Jafar. It's saying the set and captain. Jasmine hurried back to the place of palace to try to free her friend. <laughs> But Jafar would not free him. Magic had weaving in the diamond in a roof. It was Aladdin. Jasmine transformed into a, an old. Yes, must, Aladdin drew a vision, passed his way to see a cave of treasure. Aladdin and Abu stood before the cave of wonders. The old man cried, Fetch me the lamp! Tiger led them in the past, Boomy, touching nothing but the lamp. The steps led to a room with the treasures and a magic carpet. The friendly magic carpet led Aladdin and Abu to another chamber. At the top of a high stranger, Aladdin found the golden lamp resting on a little. Aladdin reached for. for Glam just as a boo or reaching for a, ga a glittering ruby. A boo! No! <coughs> <coughs> shouted Aladdin. But it was too late. The cave of wonders began to come place around them. The magic carpet helped them escape danger, but they were trapped in, inside the dark, silent cave. 
I let him look at the lamp. Where was the piece of junk that he said? As he ran around to get the dirt from the inside. Suddenly, the lamp began to glow. <laughs> a tiny cloud of smoke formed from the spout and formed a giant blue genie. He grinned and said, "Wow, does it feel good to be out there?" So what will it be, Master? Aladdin had his own genie. He granted me any of three wishes I want to write. He asked. Then Aladdin brought up a way to get a free wish. Abu, he probably can't even get us out of here. He said to prove his power. The genie frightened them from the cave. After my first two wishes, I use my third wish to set you free. Aladdin promised, "Can you make me a prince?" Hang out to your turn, kid," said the genie. "One prince." Coming up, and presto, Aladdin became Prince Ali. Alice. Meanwhile, at the palace, Jafar was funny. He had not mm, no man, lent no lamp, and without the lamp, he could not become sultan. The king and Esther needed a new plan. He married the princess, cursing his wicked parrot uncle, and then you become sultan. Yes, Jafar. What if Uncle sent the sultan? With his miniscule snake, stout and crimson, you will order Jasmine to marry me. Before Jafar could carry out of his plan, a new prince arrived in the city of Agrippa, riding atop a huge elephant that had once been a little monkey. I have journeyed from afar to seek your daughter's hand in marriage, Prince Ali. Sending it to the Sultan, who was intrigued and decided, "Nothing, nothing is missing, Prince." Thought Jasmine, "I'm not surprised to be one." She shouted, and she ran up to her room. To win Jasmine's heart, Aladdin sneaked up to the bungling on her his magic carpet. Princess Jasmine, please give me a head chance. Aladdin pleaded. Then he invited her on a moonlit ride. Jasmine knew that that Prince Ali was there, really her new friend from the marketplace. But at the end of the night. Aladdin and Jasmine had fallen in love, but as Aladdin was leaving, palace guards sighted him. <laughs> Jafar had ordered Aladdin to be thrown into the sea. Luckily, the genie was nearly by. Aladdin used his second wish to save himself. Don't scare me like that, kid," said the genie. Aladdin raced to the palace on his magic carpet, just before the Sultan ordered Jasmine to marry Jafar. Your Highness, Aladdin cried, "Jafar has been controlling you with this." He grabbed the snake, stuck, and smashed it to break the spell. Jafar went off escaping, and Zed looked at it to steal the lamp. At last, Jafar had the lamp. He read it, and the genie cries, "I wish to roll on high." And the Sultan Jafar cried. Sadly, the genie had to fall. Then Jafar made an, a, a, a second wish to become the most powerful sultan in the world. He changed Prince Ali back into poor 
a loud interrupting adjustment in a giant horse glass. But the clever young man tricked Jafar, tempting the genie has more power than you ever have, including Jafar used his final wish. I wish to be an all-powerful genie. Jafar forgot one important thing: all genies are doomed to live in a lamp and only be a master wishes. No! Jafar cried as Aladdin picked up a lamp, and then it turned into him inside forever. As a result for Aladdin's bravely, the Sultan changed the law. So Jasmine could marry her whenever she chose. I choose you, Aladdin. Jasmine said, kissing the her prince. Aladdin used his third and final wish to set the genie free. They huge and said goodbye, but they knew they would be friends forever. I'm thinking I never see. It really, I love it.